Now, we didn't talk about the range of the 1 over x function, but uh, it doesn't include 0 because there's no number you can divide into 1 to give you 0. So the range doesn't include 0, but for any other possible value of y, you can solve the equation y equals 1 over x for y, okay, so, uh, for x, and you can get that value of y. So the, the range will include all numbers, all real numbers except 0, and that corresponds to all the possible y values. Okay, now that would be the range of the yellow graph. The range of the set that we already saw, and we didn't really mention the range of the purple graph, but it would be from what? It would be from negative one half down to negative two, not including either of those numbers, and from uh, two down to one half, including the two but not the one half. So we could say that the range of this function is uh, use purple for the range of the purple function range. And we'll start from the lowest number in the range and move to the highest. So we're going from negative two to negative one half and not including either of those because these points aren't included. And then we're going from one half to two, not including the one half because this point isn't included, but including the two. So that's the range of the purple graph. The range of the yellow graph out to be the same as the domain. Okay, And uh, the range of the purple graph turns out to be the same as the domain too. Now that's not going to be the case with the 2 to the x graph. So here's a table for our 2 to the x graph. And this is the way a table is often presented in your text. Okay, so here's our table. Um, I don't have to explain the table to you, or at least I shouldn't have to. And by the time you get done practicing before, you know, before the first of next week, absolutely, and hopefully by the next class, uh, well, you know, you'll, 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 you'll understand immediately. Okay, so uh, we could list the numbers in the domain. Okay, they, uh-oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, this table goes with this function. It's just another way of writing the table for this function. And I wrote it down to illustrate that. I was thinking I was doing the table for the 2 to the x function, but those numbers don't at all correspond. Okay, well, uh, I just wrote down the graph of the 2 to the x function, and uh, assuming you can write down the table yourself. Uh, and I didn't write the domain of the set or the range of the set, uh, but you should be able to do that very easily. I'll just write down the set of points and write down the set of the first coordinates and write down the set of the second coordinates. Um, the domain of the blue graph as pictured is what? Well, you have x values that go from negative 2 to 2. I don't think I made it all the way out to 2 at this point, but yeah, you understand what that would be. Draw your own graph and make it accurate, okay? Uh, and the range would be what? Well, it would be from this coordinate to this coordinate. It would be from one-fourth to four, okay? Now, there's a circle around this point. It's a little vague. Circle here, but this point is nice and solid. So we include the two out here in the domain. We don't include the negative two, the x-coordinate of this point. Nor if we write the range, and I'll write that. The range of the blue graph is from negative one fourth, uh, not negative one fourth, positive one fourth, to four, not including the one fourth which occurs here, but including the four which occurs here. 
And then of the whole two to the x function, if we do the entire thing, uh, the domain is unrestricted. There's no number that you can't evaluate for two to the x. Okay? There's no number, no x plugged in for plugged into the expression two to the x that doesn't give you a result. So the domain is all real numbers from negative infinity to infinity. Now, to get the range, uh, yeah, from the graph you can see that the graph appears to stay above the x-axis. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because any number, two to any number, is going to be a positive number. Okay, why is that? Well, if the number's positive, it's obvious. Two to the zero is zero, and then it just keeps getting bigger, so those are all positive. For the negative values, it's the reciprocal of all these values. Well, all these values are positive, so their reciprocals are all positive. And they can never be zero. There's no number whose reciprocal is zero. So that 2 to the x is always positive, no limit to how big for positive x, and there's no limit to how small for negative x because, of course, the reciprocals of these bigger and bigger positive numbers get smaller and smaller. So that drives the graph as you go to the left, closer and closer to the x-axis. <coughs> And then I said the range is negative infinity, negative infinity, because I was being careless. I'm going to get a handle on that. I'm going to do too much of it. But anyhow, the range is from zero to infinity. The, I emphasized the fact that it's an open set here, uh, but obviously you don't have any negative values. So saying the range is negative infinity to infinity is totally wrong. It's from zero to negative to why did I write two negative infinities? That doesn't make sense. The range goes from zero to infinity. The range is all the numbers from zero on up. As we can see here, the y values go from zero up, but they don't include zero because of what we said about uh, every number over here being the reciprocal of one of the y values over here. Every y value on this side is reciprocal of the corresponding y value on this side because of what the negative exponent tells you. And it therefore can't be zero, but it can be as close to zero as we wish, giving us this range. <coughs>